Graham, I wonder if this uh, will resonate with you, my friend. This is such a sad story. We're just hearing Brighton have just announced the shock retirement of Enoch Moepu at the age of 24 after the midfielder was diagnosed with a hereditary heart condition. Um, the club say this morning the condition would put Enoch at an extremely high risk of suffering a potentially fatal cardiac event if he were to continue playing competitive football. Zambian international, he'd made 27 appearances from, for Brighton. I've, I've seen him. and He, yeah. he looked great. Well, we've yeah. all seen him. Yeah, he looks I mean, like a tragic. really promising young man. What, what yeah. I find interesting in that, he's 24 years old. You know, they get serious medicals today and they've just picked up mm. and it's hereditary, which it's been there forever. That's right. So you're picking it up at 24. Yes. Why wasn't it picked up before? Apparently he's, been seen, vulnerable. he's been vulnerable, that's what I'm saying. He's been, he's been vulnerable. vulnerable. They, they, they bought him from uh, Red Bull Salzburg, I think, for about 18 million quid. He was taken ill on a flight when he was joining up with his country, Zambia, during the international break just recently there. Hmm. And uh, the, the the red flag was, was put up then. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we need I'm, to look at this. I'm just surprised it's not, you know, it's not been flagged up before, Jim. That's but, a tragedy for him because that boy looked like he could, he could yeah. play in our league. He did. Do he really did, well yeah. in our Does league. something like this just come totally out of the blue? I mean, I remember texting you at the time when Graham Souness is to have a triple heart bypass. I was like, what? Yeah, well, my my, my situation was hereditary. I, I never had an attack. They, they, they went early on me because of my family history. My two uncles died in their in their mid 30s. I was manager of Liverpool, high pressure job, and they flagged up that three, three arteries that were sort of seventy five plus. Did you have any symptoms? It. Anything come along? No, the no, only, the only symptoms I had. I used to have headaches all the time. Right, and you know, alcohol would would um, increase the headaches. So I could have one pint of lager, and we, you, if, we, if you knew me then, I'd be rubbing the side of my head, feeling a headache coming on. So that was high blood pressure, and it was just I wasn't sleeping at night. I was on sulpidine. Um, I had no pains. So I was I was extremely fit. I actually had that whatever that that syndrome is called when you stop playing. I, could, I was in, I was going to the gym three times a day. I was in you were morning, mega fit. I remember m- mor- morning, afternoon, and then I was I was three years on my own before I met my my um, new wife. I was three years on my own, so I had three years of training three times a day, and then going out looking for. The, you know, a bit of fun. So, oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So I am. Um, I mean, I was, I was, I was, and I had a big job. I had a very, very stressful job. So they went early on me, but I never had an attack. Never had an attack. This boy. I mean, the news has just been delivered to him, and Brighton say uh, Moepu has been advised that the only option, for the sake of his own safety, is for him to stop playing football. What a blow! You know, you go from, you know, you go from being extremely. In my case. And, Hopefully that's, that's not his case. From my case, you know, you, you clean your teeth. I got the reminder is you're cleaning your teeth every morning after you've had operation. You know, you've been open like a, a walnut. You end up with a big scar down the middle of your chest. And you're cleaning your teeth. And I was 38 years old and it was bad enough for me. But that young fella, at 24 to get that news, with his career just kicking yep. off, oh, is dear. an absolute yep. travesty. It really it, is for him. It really is. It's tragic. As we speak, I don't know if this is just for us, is it? The statement is coming in now. Um, uh, yeah, or it was it was released just minutes ago. So this is just out. This is just in the public domain just now. He says, "I'd like to thank everyone uh, who supported me in my football journey, including my wife and family, and my agent, the Zambian FA, all my previous clubs, my teammates and coaches, especially everyone." At, uh, at Brighton, some dreams, however, come to an end. So it's with sadness I announce that I need to hang up my boots because of the medical advice I have just received. This is, however, not the end of my involvement in football. I plan to stay involved in some capacity. He needs to go and get co- 24 years old. He needs to go and get his coaching badges and hopefully get a job as a coach somewhere. But can I say, as, a, as an ambassador, ambassador for the British Art Foundation, you know, I, I think I'm a perfect example. That young guy at 24, perfect example. You know, you can you, you can be feeling great. Um, no symptoms, but you get to a certain age. The things I would, I would ask people to do, you know, because you've got a responsibility to your family, to your kids, to be around for them. Go and get yourself checked out. High blood pressure, bad cholesterol levels, family history. If you've got any any of those, go and get yourself checked out. Because what the work the British Heart Foundation do now, they can they can if they get you early, they can do wonders for you. The doctors, they really can. The medication and the treatments. So and the key else. thing, Graham, here is Go that early. Got it's, it like early. With, it's like with any disease. Yeah. Coronary artery disease is a killer. 
it, it sneaks up on you. Go and get yourself checked out if you've got any of those, any of those and more. But basically, high cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, family history, go and get yourself seen to. Yeah, I think I saw him playing, uh, I went to Brighton's game at Fulham. And uh, young unit was playing. I'm sure he was a, a wonderful attitude, great smile. I saw him last year. On with it, you know, thought, I, I saw him last year, and I thought Brighton have got a player here. Yes. So that's when I saw it being announced. I thought, oh, that's a bloody shame. But listen, in the great bigger picture of life, he has a life to lead. He's 24 years of age. Like he says, one part of his dream may be closed down. He'll find another door to open. He'll find if you, if you can get to the stage where you can be a Premier League footballer, then you've got something about you because they are in the minority. Then he needs, to, and if he loves the game, which I imagine he will do, and he's already said in his statement, he'll take another opportunity. He won't get the same path. No, it's but, but life changes, isn't it? What a blow! What yeah. a blow! Sad. Twenty-four years old. Sad, but the alternative, better than the alternative. Hmm. Yes, yes, it really is. I remember the shock, Graham, when when it happened to you because it's everybody for you. How did I feel? Well, exactly, mate. You're in front of the mirror, going, "What? Say that again?" But everybody, the topic of conversation was soonish. You're kidding me. Guy's as strong as an ox. Yeah, I, He's I, a lion. I, it was, wasn't anything I did. It was no, no dodgy genes. And, yeah, and but I come back to it. I'm an example of how dangerous it can can be. I was, I was, I said, I just mad, mad, mad for fitness. I was in the gym, couldn't leave the gym alone. I was doing. I was basically at that time doing everything a, a Premier League player would be doing, except. Playing. Playing on a, on a weekend. Yeah. How was that fit? I remember the time. I remember it. Uh, really sad news there. But um, we, we, obviously, as Graham is rightly saying, having had experience of it, the key thing is it's been flagged up early. So young Enoch can get on with his life. But Brian's Enoch Mawepu has been forced to retire at the tender age of 24 after being diagnosed with hereditary heart condition. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.